Hello everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to construct an Archimedes spiral, right? So the first thing you are going to do is to draw your vertical and horizontal axis like this. The horizontal faint line, right? Then with the help of your set square, you draw the vertical. Now this is the first two things you do, and this is the center where they meet. Now you might be given any diameter of the circle. You might be two, maybe it is 40 millimeter diameter or any diameter at all. So let me assume that diameter of 80. So I'll use 40 millimeter radius. So if it is 80, you're going to use 40 millimeter radius. So you can use any diameter if it is not given, right? So this is 40 here. And I'll put at the center at this point with the radius of 40. So when you have the radius of 40, you should know that that is diameter of 80. Now I'm going to draw my circle this way, faint line. Can you see that? That will be the first step. Now the second step is to divide the circle into as many parts as you want to. If you like, you can divide into 8, and if you like, you can divide into 12, right? So me, I'll be dividing this into 12. Now I'll take my compass with the same radius that I used to draw the circle, which is 40, right? I'll place it this way. You can see that? And I'll come and I'll strike up, right? And I'll come here also, I'll strike up. And I'll place at the center here, and I'm going to strike left, and I'll strike right. You can see that? So these are the four points that I struck. So the next thing I'm going to do is, those points I strike, I'll let them pass through the center. So with this way, place it here, with the reference at the center. You can see that, the center here. All of those points pass the center of the circle. This way. That's the first line. Then go to the second one, allow it to pass through the center of the circle. That's the second one. Go to the third one, allow it to pass through the center of the circle. Go to the fourth one, allow it to pass through the center of the circle. Now this is what we have here. So we have, let me see, this will be my zero, this will be one, this will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then twelve, right? Now this is what you do, you first of all divide your circle into 12 equal parts, which is what I just did now. Now the next thing is, since you divide the circle into topical parts, right? Because what is the Archimedes spiral? It is the locus of a point which moves about the center at uniform angular velocity. So, we want to look for the locus of this point that moves around this center at uniform angular velocity. And also, at the same time, it moves away from the center at uniform linear velocity. So since I divide it into 12, right, and I'm going in a clockwise, in an anticlockwise direction this way, I'm going in an anticlockwise direction this way, right, this is how I'm going. Now, I will now divide here into 12 too, just like I divide my circle into 12. So if you divide the circle into 8, it means you divide here into 8, right? So I'm dividing into 12. So we know from here to here is 40 right right so i'm going to divide 40 into 12 so that will now come to the times that we're going to use the line division method to divide here into 12 so this is how i'm going to divide from here to here into 12 right from the center to this point into 12 so let me call the center to be point o and here to be a so i want to divide o a into 12 so what I will do is, I will take my rule, right, and I will just draw a line this way. I will draw a line this way, faint line. You can see that. Now I will use my compass and mark 12 on that line. So from here, 
I'll start marking this will be any radius if you like you can use 5 or 10 millimeter so I'll place it at the center and I'll mark this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 this is 4 this is 5 this is 6 this is 7 this is 8 this is 9 we have 10 11 and 12 right so that is the 12 lines that we have so when we do that the next thing we're going to do is that the last point to the point a i'm going to join them together so i'm going to be using my this is my two rule here you can use your ruler and your set square i'll use this right so i'm going to join the last point here to point a you can see that so when i place it this way i'm going to just join it this way then. that's the first thing Immediately i do that i don't have to adjust my set square anymore i want to take my rule and if i place it here it's going to block here that i'm trying to measure I'm going to place it at the base here. You can see that. So my rule is at this point here. So when it's there, I'll place my ruler there and I'll start moving it. So I've placed my ruler under it now. Now I'll start moving. I'll move it to the next point, which is this. This is the next point. And I'm going to draw. This is what I need. Point one. Right? It's just like using your rule, but I don't want to draw it. So if I don't draw, that is point one. I'll move to the next one. This is what we have here. That is what? Point two. I'll move to the next one. I'm going to go to that point. Point three. Then the next one. Point four. I'll move it again to the next one. This is point five. To the next one. Here. Yeah. Point six to the next one. Point seven to the next one. Point eight to the next one. Point nine. Then we have point ten. Then we have the next one here, which is what? Point eleven. Then this final point oh here is point that uh, is 12. now if you see this is what we call line division method right so if you don't really get this and you want to know better you want to know more about this click on this link at this point here this top right corner here and it will show you how to divide line into equal parts now after doing that i'll start this is zero right from beginning and this will be one this will be two this will be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, then what? Twelve. You can see that. Now after I've done that, then I am going to start. Right? I'll start taking my measurement. So the first one we know from this point to here is point O, right? Point zero. Then I'll move from one. This is one. This point one here. I'll move one to one. You can see that faint line. I'll go to two. These two here. I'll move from two to two. Point two to line division two. This next two here. You can see that. I'll move two to what? To two. Then I'll go to 3. Then I'll move from 3 to what? To 3. You can see that? Then I move from 3, point 3 to line 3. Then I'll go to the next one, which is 4. You just it to 4. Then I'll move from 4 to line 4. This way. Move from 4. To what? To line 4. Then you now go to 5. Do this way. Right? So I'll move from 5. To 
to line 5. Can you see that? Move from 5 to line 5. I'll move from 6 from that same point here. I'll go to 6. Right? So when I do that, I'll move from point 6 to line 6. This way is line 6. Can you see that? Then the next one, I'll go to 7. Here. 1.7 from the center 2.7 can see that I'm going to move to line 7 just like that so I'm going from point 0.7 to what to line 7 right then the next one you go from point 8 this point 8 here you move to line 8 right 1.9 right you can see the 9 to line 9 then the next one will be 1.10 to line 10 you see this 10 you trace it to line 10 then the next one will be 11 to 11 Right, and so on. So what you've successfully done here is you've gotten all the points you need, which is from here, point one, point two. So you join the locus of this point, and so on. Six, seven, eight, nine. Then we have uh, ten here. Then this is eleven. Then twelve is at the center here. So that will be the French cup and we're going to join all together, right? So this is my French cup. Now if I had my French cup starting from zero here, I'll move it this way. I see that and I'll go this direction. There's the first one. Then I'm going to go this way, go this way also. The next one. So you move to the next one through. You join. So in doing that, you'll be having this. Now the next one. You move to the other point two. The next one is this three. Then the next one. Will be this and the next one should be this then back to this right so this is what we call what we call the Archimedes spiral, right? You can come from the scent from the side this way and you can come from inside out also. So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.